So this is the second day of resolving the brake. Now let me just state, we did have vacuum issues. The brakes, when I would drive it, I'm not satisfied with the brakes. So it led me to check other things. And naturally I went to the back where the wheel cylinders were and wouldn't you know, the wheel cylinders did have a small leak. Uh, this is just additional residue, um, well additional brake fluid because of me having to pull it out. So, but it was pretty much dry, but it was leaking inside the boot. Here's the piston here. They, they just didn't hold any fluid. Here's the seal. You know, so it didn't, it didn't hold well. Here, this other one here was seized up, actually. It doesn't move smoothly in the bore. It hit a spot and you can see how bad the fluid is. Like it's not going out any further than that. It was seized up before. So it, it looks horrible. So we're, this is getting replaced. So this will cause our brake fade also. And um, I'm a little disappointed. Let me show you what I got going on. Cause I put a new wheel cylinder on here and it's leaking. It's actually leaking. I don't know if I can get the camera back in there, but there's the bottom. I just, I was, went to, I put it on to bleed the brakes and it's leaking. So you're going to hang with me today. We're going to pull this back off. It wasn't hard. I just pulled off this one spring, lift this brake shoe over and took the fasteners from the back, the 10 millimeter and uh, the line out and inched it out. So just let's get this off now so you'll be updated about what's going on and, and efforts to resolve this brake issue because I'm not understanding why it's leaking I don't get it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clean this area up really good and I'm gonna show you what it's doing so down here is fluid take some brake cleaner hit it with some air and demonstrate exactly what I got going on so you'll be in the know so this is the area here where it's leaking. So it's on the back here. Maybe I put the stuff in wrong. I don't know, but I swear those uh, rods there were the exact same size, but I guess not. Maybe, I don't know. Doesn't make any sense for it to leak out. So I'm feeling my screw up or the part screw up. Either one that come first. Right now, dry. Right. I pressed the brakes about a good five times. Look at that. Look at that. It's fluid. Look at that. How? It's a brand new part. I understand just because it's new doesn't mean it's good. I totally get that, but I just had high expectations of this.
Let me see if these are the same size for one. Yeah, they're the same length. Look at there. There's a fluid. Brand new. I mean, I don't. Did it push in too far? Maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe it just pushed in too far and the seals had went through the inlet valve here, went past that. I want to give it another try and assume that's that's what had happened. I'm going to blame myself for it. So maybe because I pushed it in too far on one side, I'm just going to blame myself. I'm not going to say it's the part here, but... Give it another try. Breaks five times and it's dry. Cool. I just gotta get the air out. All right, that's good. Now let's move on to the other side. So pretty much the other side was everything that I had to deal with to get the wheel cylinder out, but it I mean, you're pretty much gonna be hanging around to watch me clear up some rust. Now, I already done pulled this off and inspected the wheel cylinder, clean the aerial brake clean. It looked a lot worse than this. The only thing I'll be doing here is the same as the other side, it's just prepping the area. Because this was the hardest part, getting the line off. But I'm gonna use vice grips first. Because that nut has to turn on the line. You gotta hope that that line isn't too horribly rusted. So I'm gonna hit it with some penetrant and let it set for a while. Well, let me just try it with the. I gotta suck it 
here to get the fluid lines off. Let's see if this works. Nope, it's rounding off. Yeah, I'm gonna jump right onto the vice grips. So um, just to press off the salary, just a little bit of movement, and then the first kill. Let me show you where where this one was leaking. It's the same as the other one. See all that rust accumulation? It's right on the inside. So this will be a contributing factor to our brake fade. And you can see all that rust in there. That'll accumulate around the bore, and just like an engine that has been sitting for years, it'll be seized. So let me see if I can push this out. And no, it's uh, it's not going anywhere. This is seized in there. Yeah, I can push it in a little bit, but this this will contribute to our brake fade. So that's why I'm replacing the wheel cylinders. So what I was looking for, hopefully this will have some in there too, is rust, build up, and um, fluid. So you can see a little bit of fluid seepage. So that's what we're looking for. The new wheel cylinders didn't come with these these uh, rods here so I'm gonna put these in a wire brush just like I did with the other one to get those cleaned off and clean my area with the wire brush where it's gonna be bedded at and put everything back in a reverse order just like we saw on the other side got my rods cleaned up 
And we're gonna make an attempt to get this in the air with very little problem. I'm still in the midst of trying to resolve this brake problem. I got the rear taken care of and that's fine. So let me show you how I isolated the rear. I start blocking off the portions of the master cylinder and when I block both of them, it held. It was rock hard. When I left, when I blocked this off, left this, it was fading. Right now, it's rock hard. These, this front one here, follows this over, this line, to the ABS and then it goes back out to the bottom and to the back. So the rear brakes are fine. So it seems like we're dealing with a front issue. I just replaced the front brake pads and checked the guide pins. They're okay. The only thing I'm questioning right now is the front caliber, like the one on the driver's side was a little rusted on the piston on the inside, but it wasn't leaking. So it's a possibility that it may be sticking or a big contributor to our issue so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this back and then i'm gonna put some vice grips at the brake line and block it off and see what happens well after a while of screwing with it i wound up putting everything back and it's still i'm not satisfied with it but being that i replaced like all the things that were blatantly leaking it feels better to make any sense now i thought this was the abs unit Evidently it's not, maybe it's a proportion valve, but there's the ABS unit down there. So I did bleed that too. I can't communicate that with the ABS with my scan tool, but the pedal feels fine. I, I just want to see if it's tolerable with this. It's not, how can I describe it? It's not rapidly sinking. It's just, I'm not satisfied because it don't feel like a 2015 or just a normal vehicle. It feels fine, you can drive it, I drove it. I just, I wanna see how he feels about it, the owner. So the biggest thing is, uh, because it's the intermittent feeling or this intermittent sensation with the pedal, uh, I'm gonna just conclude that we're gonna have to replace this ABS module down here. Like I said, I thought it was this. Uh, and the reason behind it is because I was able to block the mass cylinder off, isolate that, it held perfect. It was a dead stop. And when I went to this one, I left this one flowing free. This one blocked, it worked perfectly fine. These go to the rear, from what I'm looking at, this goes to the uh, ABS module and to the front. So I blocked the lines off with vice grips at the rubber hose it didn't make any change so the issue is between here and those calibers and I can tell you the calibers are fine I've replaced the brakes greased the guides and everything that's fine it's going to want to be in that unit down there and I've been having some issues a lot of issues with those um, hydro control units or ABS modules so I'm just going to say that's that's what we're going to have to do or either that or bypass it and because the fluid can be pop, could bypass those check valves in there and it'll cause an intermittent spongy pedal. So my plan, because of the age of it, we could simply just bypass it, put, create a junction block and get the lines to fit. And uh, that's my recommendation for what we're dealing with. But it drives, I mean, it works perfectly fine. I'm just, it can be better. That's that's just that's my feeling. So we don't need a we don't need a mass cylinder. I did fix all the leaks. Showed you that. That's fine, and we're we're in good shape. So I'm gonna keep you updated. Let you know what the owner decided to do. If I don't do a video, then I'll definitely update the, the description of the status of the vehicle. But it drives fine. No leaks for intake gas and things I replaced. Replaced the wheel cylinders. They were leaking, and I spent several hours checking this. Uh, brake system so I'm, I'm just going to let him test drive it and I'll update the description but hit the link subscribe to the channel stay informed how to reach my work see you next time